right, this is A class number seven, beginning Charleston. We finished off solo jazz. We did crossovers today. So last week you did rock step, kick step, rock step, kick step. And we practiced these back and front arms. All we did was change the direction. So you rock step back on a diagonal. And when you kick, you cross over. Let me show you that nice and slowly. So we go rock, step, kick, cross over. that we do this in partner dancing, all the stuff that's in the solo jazz routine, um, I put in there because you will use it eventually in your partner dancing, rock step, kick step, rock step, kick step, rock step, kick step, rock step, kick, and rock step back to your basic. We didn't do that in class, but just know that it's in the future if you, it's keep, coming. If you keep doing this. Yeah. It's coming for you. Then we uh, did kick ups tonight for a new thing and we practiced a couple different ideas. You can do these exercises with us. So we started by just switching outside foot to inside foot. We do this by switching our own weight leads and also with our right arm, we are releasing our follow and bringing our follow closer. You can hold your follow on that inside foot or outside foot. So we switch back and forth and practice that. Then we practice going out and in and out and in. We talked about leads there. Your hand is kind of like a door hinge. Out and in, out and in. Follows stay really connected to that hand on their back and you should feel that weight change and the change, the out and in change. Then we talked about, maybe we'll do this to the side. We talked about then moving forward with kick steps, just straight kick steps moving forward. Leads, you wanna make sure when you're doing this that you've got your arm, it's staying right with you, not drifting back so that your partner comes. And you wanna have some driving energy moving forward, staying on the balls of your feet. Your follow's not gonna be able to feel that you wanna move forward if, say, you're just kind of kicking in place or stepping underneath you, you wanna step out and move forward. We put all of those ideas together into something called a kick-up that looks like this. We'll do it to the and run away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We talked about at the very end. We hold that seven, eight back to our basic Charleston. We practice starting with the basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and back to the basic at the end. Let's do that back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to the basic. That was the new thing. And then um, in terms of what you guys were doing, maybe let's just roll through the stuff real quick. So this session, you guys did your basic. We opened up the new kick throughs. We did hand-to-hand -hand Charleston, variation on hand-to-hand -hand for these kick-ups. Or not kick-ups, kick-arounds, that's what I wanted to say. You can go back to hand-to-hand, -to -hand, then back to your basic. From there, you can do the kick-ups. Boom, ba-da, 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 da ba you guys did a great job. Yeah, we didn't learn that last one. But that That's was just for extra fun. Extra fancy. Great job this session. We hope we see you next week. Great job, guys. Bye.